TRPC is the best full stack developer experience I've ever had, and you probably shouldn't migrate to it. Let's talk about it. TRPC is incredible. It is the best full stack type safe solution where the type safety actually makes the developer experience easier, not harder. However, I've seen a lot of questions about TRPC that have me concerned people are using it in places they shouldn't and specifically migrating things that they shouldn't. The important thing to understand about TRPC is how simple it makes writing functions to get data and send data to your backend. Your applications need data, and it's the role of an API to get the data to them. When you have to add new APIs for new data, I think that is when you benefit a lot from TRPC. I migrated ping to TRPC from a bunch of REST endpoints, and the thing TRPC did better than any tech I'd used before was make it so I can quickly define an endpoint, which is just a function, that sends and or receives data from my client incredibly simply. So when I started adding new endpoints and using TRPC for those, it took me way less time to make them. I didn't migrate to TRPC initially. I added TRPC to my code base and started using TRPC for new endpoint definitions. And that is when it really benefited me. When adding new functionality and new endpoints and new features, TRPC was an incredible developer experience. Then I loved it so much that I started migrating other things over, but I didn't start until I had added new features and added new parts to my app using it that benefited in obvious ways from it. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to take your existing GraphQL endpoints or your REST endpoints and throw them all into TRPC to test it out. I think you'll really see the value as you stub out new stuff and have to maintain that stuff over time. But chances are, once you fall in love with it like I did, I'm not going to be able to stop you, much like I couldn't stop myself. And over a weekend, suddenly your whole app is going to be TRPC-based. That all said, I don't think you should migrate to TRPC. I think you should add TRPC to solve problems that it solves, and you should enjoy the full-stack TypeScript experience whenever you're able. If you're not able because you have a different backend team or because your backend is in Golang or Python or some other stuff, TRPC is not going to work there, and that's totally fine. I understand and think that makes a lot of sense in a lot of places. But if you can have a backend in TypeScript and you can have a frontend in TypeScript and they can be in the same repo, add TRPC to it. You might be surprised. If you haven't tried out TRPC yet, the best way to do that is going to be create.t3.gg. We made it as easy as possible to get a full stack Next.js app with TRPC and type safety all built in. We also include Prisma, NextAuth, and of course, my favorite, Tailwind, so you can develop super quick. And if any one of those parts don't suit your fancy, you actually can check which ones you do and don't use as you set up. Only half of my YouTube viewers are subscribed, which is just absurd. Like, come on guys, subscribing is free and I appreciate each and every one of you who hits that button, the button that is right there, I believe, depending on the platform you're on, you keep changing it on me. Regardless, appreciate you, thank you. Hope this rant was helpful. I know it's a little different from the ones I normally do, you probably like this video, otherwise you wouldn't have made it to the end. YouTube thinks you're going to like the one right there as well. So give that a click and let me know in the comments what you thought. See you in the next one.